Hi, and welcome to this new video in which I will explain you how you can use your YubiKey to make your GitHub account more secure. To make this video more interesting, I'm using a remote Azure virtual machine as the machine that, will, uh, that, that I'll use to secure my account, and that will enforce and will show you how I demonstrated you in a previous video that I can really use my YubiKey even on a remote desktop connection without almost any problem. The first security suggestion I'm giving you is, I hope you already have your second factor authentication configured in GitHub and you can use your YubiKey for a fastest experience, experience because you just need to touch the key. To accomplish this, log in into your account, go into setting, go into password and authentication. And in this session, you will see a set of security way to implement your second factor authentication. And in this account, I already have my authenticator app, but since I now have a YubiKey, I want to use it to have maximum protection and maximum easy of access to my account. Adding a security key is an experience that is very easy and it's similar into any service and GitHub makes no exception. You just go to edit in your security key and you can just press register new security key. And I say demo, this is my uh, new security key. I press add and now even if I'm in remote desktop, I have the standard Windows security uh, that asked me to uh, access my key, so I press OK. I want the software to access my key. I'm inputting the pin and now I touch my key. And pass key is saved. And you can now use your security key to sign you to github.com. OK, and you're ready to go. Now, when you are prompt to log in into your GitHub account, you insert your username, you insert your password, you press sign in, and, oops, sorry, I typed the wrong password. And now it asks me to give my second factor of authentication and I just choose my uh, key. I need only to touch my key and I'm in. Now, to avoid source of confusion, in the login page, you have sign in with a passkey. You press passkey and it, it, you are asked to type the pin of your key and it gives you an error. Now, let's explain what is happening behind the scene. As I told you in previous video, when you use YubiKey, you have basically two really different ways of operating with your key. The first one is using your key as a second factor of authentication. This means that the remote side, the server, already had your username and password. And the key is only used instead of your authenticator app. And this usually requires you only to touch the key, not entering the pin because you already entered your username and password. Why? If you want to log in passwordless without being forced to enter your username and password, you need to register what we call a passkey. And this is a slightly different way of authenticating and it uses the FIDO2 protocol and this time you will register the key in a slightly different way. And as you saw in the previous example, when you try to log in with a pass key, it asks you the pin of the key because simply touching the key will not be enough because if you some way lost your key and someone find your key, they just can plug the key into their USB port touching and they are into your account. So if you want to use the key as a single method of authentication, you need to use the key and register the pin and register the key in a different way. And this will ensure if you lose the key and someone find your key, they have only a small number of tentatives, eight of guessing the pin before the credential inside the key are irremediably lost and they cannot use the key anymore. The option is really prominent inside the configuration of your account. If you go into your uh, your, the section of your account where you have password and authentication, you have passwordless sign in with passkey. And this is the key. This is where you can register a passkey to avoid typing your password anytime you're accessing your GitHub account. Now you can press add the passkey 
and the, the GitHub account show you upgrade your security key registration to a passkey. This means that the GitHub already know that you inserted a YubiKey, but actually the YubiKey it's, was only inserted as a second factor of authentication. So it gives you the option to upgrade the same key to the passkey. So you can upgrade to passkey or you can register a completely different passkey. If you, like me, are a long-term user, user of YubiKey and GitHub, you probably already had registered your key in GitHub. So it's natural for you to press upgrade to passkey. And this time, again, you got an interaction with the Windows Hello asking you to access the key. And this time you got two different prompt for warning because in this time, GitHub wants to create a credential on your security key. And this show you that the procedure is different. The first one is simply registering the key as a second factor of authentication. Now GitHub wants to create a credential on your key. So I press OK, and now I need to give the pin. And I need to touch my security key. And pass key was saved. I press OK. And I can give a nickname, demo passkey, and we're ready to go. And passkey menu now show that, okay, you have your passkey recorded. Now I've logged out again and I'm in the login page again. And I don't know why GitHub showed me that this browser or device is reporting partial passkey support, but that's probably means that it is in the remote desktop. So actually, I want to tell you again, I'm working with a remote Azure machine and I'm using remote desktop. And this show you that a YubiKey can be fully used in remote desktop scenarios. So now I can just sign in with a passkey. It will ask me the pin for my key. I press my key and I'm in. And this time I only needed my key and the pin of the key. So I'm actually, I actually have a complete passwordless login experience to my GitHub account. In this video, we saw how we can use a YubiKey as a second form of authentication in your GitHub account. But the most important thing is now GitHub supports the concept of passkey and allow you to register your YubiKey as a single method of authentication. So you don't need to input your password anymore. And this is a, a great enhancement to your uh, GitHub security, to the security of your account, because you can choose a super ultra long password in your password manager, but you are sure that you only need one of your registered key to log into your account in a very secure way and back it up the, by the most recent industry standard in security. And this concludes this video where I show you how you can go passwordless in GitHub with your YubiKey. And I'm waiting you in the next video on the YubiKey series.